is I don't go over the warp fixer tool in this video that I've posted. That's going to be addressed in the next video I do on that software. Like I said, in this video, it's just a quick fix, just to show you what this software can do. And the additional tools will be shown in a up and coming video in the next few days. Okay, thank you. Hey, what's up YouTube? Back in with another video today. And today we're just going to compare Portrait Pro body against the liquify tool in Photoshop just to see the differences and how we can adjust this picture nice and quick. Is it going to be better? Well, it's up to you to decide. I'm not a master of Photoshop, so I do like to make things as simple as possible for myself. And anyway, you'll see the results of what I can do within less than 10 minutes or 10 minutes or so this video will usually take. Anyway, so we'll do a quick edit with the Portrait Pro body and then we'll just touch up the, the picture as well with Portrait Pro 21 and see the finished product at the end. Okay, so we're just going to head on into the Liquify tool. Now again, there's nothing really wrong with this um, this girl, but if we want to adjust it, just to slim the, if you look at the dress area, it just it's making her look a little bit bulky around the waist area so you know I would probably want to um, adjust that before giving the picture over to the girl or you know for posting etc so if I was going to use the liquify and we're just trying to push this body in a little bit we'll see straight away it will start dragging all the um, the background in as well even if I bring the brush down to a smaller one now again there might be a way to adjust this like i said i'm not a photoshop expert so for me i you know i would try and do it this way but again it's dragging all the brickwork as well so i wouldn't be happy with that result but again if you go to the face area it does a good job it's caught the face and yeah but the issue I've got is I just want to adjust some parts of the body, the legs, etc. And it's not going to allow me to do that with the skills I've got. So what I'll do, I'll restore the picture. We'll click OK, come out of that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we'll head into the Portrait Pro Body plugin. And we'll just see what we can do with this software instead. Again, folks, if you like these videos and they do help you in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. We've got a discount discount code for this software and any of the Anthropics range of software. You can head over to their site. The link will be in the description and get yourself 15% off the software. Right, okay, so this software is nice and simple to use. Um, I've already done one video on it. This is my second one. And all you need to do, first of all, is identify the subject now we'll just i will just show you the oh sorry i've come out of there okay so we're back into portrait pro body and the adjustments i want to do is on the full body itself like i said she doesn't really need a lot of adjustments but we're just going to do some minor adjustments that i would like to do myself nice and quick so first thing you'll do is with your with your mouse key is just click on the nose and then select the body type we've got male female obviously she's a female so we'll click on that it'll do the analyzing of the image and i am going to accept the markup and then it'll do the processing, it'll find the skin, etc. Just give it a few seconds to do all that. We'll bring the picture back out to how it was. And then we just want to slimmer down just a little bit. Now, you see the difference as with the um, Photoshop editing, it was pushing everything in here and it wasn't doing a good job so we're just going to slim it down just a little bit and then we've got the curve here if we want it but we want to just slimmer like i said it's just going to be slight adjustments we're doing here 
Now what I want to do is push in this area of the dress. So what I'll do is I will push that down manually. Again, very slightly. We're not doing too much. And we're just going to give her a little bit more height. So that's going to stretch. Now you can see it is taking this area as well, but it does a better, better job of hiding what it's doing compared to Photoshop. So we're just going to bring her up to around the 17 mark. Then we'll nip on the to the torso um, area and we'll slim the abdomen in just a little bit and just the, just the bottom area. We're just going to raise that, sorry, bring that down just a little bit. And this one we'll just bring up. Now, the arms I'm just going to leave, we'll nip into the legs and we'll just do a master fade here. It's just doing slight adjustments. You can see what it does to the leg area. But as it does, it's bringing all the picture in here to sort of keep it in line. And it hides what it's doing better than the Photoshop or what I can do with Photoshop. So I would rather use this program to do the job for me. Okay. Now, we'll just go to the original. We've made some, you can see it's distorted some other areas of the picture, but if I wasn't showing you, you wouldn't know. Okay. So we're going to leave that there and we will just go to the we're going to leave the skin. We're going to leave everything else. Um, let's have a look in here. Just nip back into the torso. Again, if you want to do the chest area, you can do that. But we're just going to leave everything there as it was. We're going to bring that chest, uh, the waist out just a little bit. And I do want to push a bit more of this picture in, so I will do that manually. And we'll bring a leg in just a little bit there. And bring this leg in as well. And we'll just slim this one just a tad. There we go. And we'll just actually, we'll just do that area there. And I'm going to leave that picture as it is okay so we're in portrait pro 21 and we're just going to finish off this picture nice and quickly we're just going to add, add a little bit of hair volume to the picture a little bit of widening on the eyes on the 20 no we'll just go up to just under 40 on the eyes and we'll nip into the makeup column and we will add some eyelashes to this picture actually we'll give it a thick application yep yeah, there we go i'm happy with that we'll leave the texture down at the bottom end we don't need to do anything with her makeup on this occasion and we'll just sharpen the eyes up just a little bit just under 30 on that brighten the iris just slightly and then we'll close that panel we'll just go into the skin and lighting section and then we will add not too very light amounts on this picture i think we'll be happy with just round about there and we've got the modeling light i want to put that light in up a little bit further on this picture and we're going to leave that there i'm just going to tone down the lipstick if i can so we will do the lipstick and we're just going to change the color of them lips we're not going to darken the lips and we'll bring the lip saturation down
lightly whiten the teeth. I'm going to be done. Okay, so that was nice and quick. Like I said, it was just a quick one to adjust this picture. Nice and quick. Ready for Instagram, Facebook, etc. I wasn't happy with the width of how she was looking with the, the dress she had on. So I've just slimmed it down just a tad. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with the results. Anyway, so like I said, that was just a quick video showing you using, <coughs> excuse me, Portrait Pro Body and Portrait Pro 21 in, in conjunction with each other for a simple edit. Okay, I'm going to leave it there and we'll see you in the next video.